Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm King Posh and today I'm showing you guys my Chevrolet 1956 Barbie Movie Corvette EV. Here is my share code. Now I just did a video of me taking this online drifting and I showed you guys the build but I didn't show you guys the tune. So I'm going to correct that right now and I'm going to go right into the tune first and show you guys what I did to uh, this Barbie movie Corvette. Um, we got a 55 and 55 for that maximum slide, okay? Here is the gearing. As you can tell, there's only one gear. It is a electric vehicle, EV. Um, so it's got a top speed of 155.5 miles per hour. Here is the alignment. It's got basically a straight build on it. You know, if this was all-wheel drive, it would definitely drive in a straight line when you floor it, you know. But either way, um, this is a straight build on here. It's really easy. And if you watch my last video of me taking it online, you can see I was really having not, no really any big problems with the vehicle. Anti-row bars are one in one. All right, springs are maxed out, as you can tell. Lows and goes 5.5 inches off the ground. All right, dampening is 2020, one in one. No downforce to worry about. Brakes are just 50 and 100, just stock. All right, and then the differential is 21 and 100. Yeah, so as you can tell, I built this thing back in 2023. So if you want to know that. Um, but yeah, here, here's what I have on the vehicle itself. If you didn't really watch all through the video, it's got that race motor and battery parts giving you 603 horsepower with 663 foot pounds of torque i weighs 2700 pounds all right it's got a snow tire compound all right stock width in the front stock width in the rear i am it's got stock rim size also for both the front and the rear both 16 inch rims and then i'm also using uh, the Wedge Sport TC 105 and rims on there. Here's what the rims look like completely stock as it would look like for a Barbie vehicle. Here we got a race drive line that's carbon fiber. We do have a drift differential in here. And the nice thing about this thing, it also can get a drift kit. But either way, here's the race brakes. So at least it's got race brakes on there. And like I said, it's got drift springs and dampeners. You know, and anti roll bars for both the front and the rear are both race. And there you have it. There is the build, there is the tune. And as you can tell, there is a car mastery for all this stuff here. Um, but I never did anything to it. All right. Just to let you guys know. And there you have it. And that's the only tune I have up there for you guys. You can't make this thing all-wheel drive. It's rear-wheel drive only. So there's that. Um, but yeah, it's an absolutely amazing car. Um, like I said, you got to hit that thing just right. Second place overall of everybody else. You saw what I had to put in there. A, drift, best for handling. You know, I mean, we can do A, drift. See where I stand on that one. I'm down here, on here, on that. So it says King's Rule Will Drive Drift. Definitely check out my my past video. You just get to see it. I'm just talking, chilling, having a good time. Um, it, it's a good watch, you know. Um, you know. We'll just take her out real quick. Why not? Not a big deal. What I thought was cool on here is look at the gauges in there. Now, once we get into the, the light, we need to get into the light. You see that? You can actually, here, let me turn around and see if I can get into the light there. Look at that. You can actually see the gauges work from out here. That's pretty cool. I, I kind of like that thing. Um, I've got, you know, 3,195 um, miles on, on this vehicle right now. But, uh, yeah, there, you can really see it. All right. Now, look at that. It's got little hearts on it. I never noticed this before. It has hearts all through there. That is pretty cool. But you can see the dial in the middle there actually 
fluctuate and actually work. It's really high detail. Like I said, it's only got one gear on there. It's really good. I did say it does drive, you know, it would drive in a straight line, you know, for an all-wheel drive. If it was all-wheel drive, it's real drive. But I, I guess we can go and see. Let's, let's go take it to the straightaway there, you know, and we'll ease up on it. Because, I mean, well, here, we'll do a couple things with it. We'll do a couple tests with this thing. So, here we go. We're straight floored. There you go. I was already starting to correct myself. I was, I'm just, it's just normal. Here, we're just going to go over here, and we'll gradually go up the speed. All right. As you can tell, I'm, I'm not moving my, uh, you know, controller around here. Now I'm floored. See, it's a straight build. It really is. It gets up there. All right, not a problem. I mean, now if you get onto the gas, yeah, it's gonna go straight for a few seconds, but then, you know, it is what it is. There, you see it already started to pull. But if you're not on it real hardcore, yeah, it's gonna drive straight, you know? There we go. Get right on it. As you can tell, there's the power right there. And, uh, yeah, look at those RPMs. And then let's really get this thing to fly. Let's hit that jump. Why not? There's 151, 152, 3, 4, and 5. There's 5. There's the top speed right there. And Barbie lands it. Absolutely beautiful. Well, hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit that like button, and I'll catch you guys next time. Stay sideways, my friends.